Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you two innovative ways to create water drop serums. The first one I'm going to show you is a very simple water and oil mixture. There are no emulsifiers, but when you shake it and apply straight away, you get an emulsified effect because of the mechanical shaking and the application. You can see there, the substance is temporarily combined. It will separate out into its separate layers later. Now you may say at this point, why would I do that? Why wouldn't I just make a lotion or a cream? Well, the consumer nowadays more and more wants to know exactly what's in their product and they're looking to reduce some of the chemicals or ingredients that are in their products they choose. In this particular example, it's marketed as being a herbal drop serum. So in the water phase, it contains a lot of herbal extracts and in the oil phase, it contains some oils that are particularly beneficial to the skin. The second product I'm going to show you is this really cool water drop serum. And if you can see really close, there are actually oil droplets suspended in a water continuous medium. Now this is made possible using these very innovative wet capsules from Biogenics. And what they are is oil contained within a very special little capsule so that they can be suspended in a continuous gel phase. So I'm going to show you how to create both of these. So first, I've already measured out my water phase here except for my extracts. This is an example of some simple glycerin-based extracts. Now you can pick extracts with strong efficacy data for marketing claims or use some gentle glycerin-based extracts if you're budgeting uh, for a cheaper product. I am going to be adding some natural chelating agent to my water mixture. And another very important note about my water mixture is I am making a very green formulation for you here. So I have used Yuxil K712 as the preservative. This particular preservative uh, contains sodium benzoate and potassium sorbate, so I have to drop the pH. So I've already adjusted the pH of this solution so that that preservative will be effective. And if I simply add the extracts into that water phase, you can see I get a really nice light yellow color, very similar to the example product here. Next, I combine my oil phase. Now what I've done here is I've measured out the oily components and the tocopherol, and you can see it does look quite golden here. But to give it a really nice skin feel, I'm using a natural silicone replacement. And in doing so, you'll see I've actually lost a lot of that golden color. And that's just not gonna work for my consumer who wants to see a golden rich color from the vegetable oil. So you can either use more vegetable oils or if you wanna get a nice silicon-like feel, use a silicon replacement, but then you'll need to add some natural colorant. And so now I'm going to add the natural colorant. This one is from Campo. And of course, this is to make a very natural formula. You don't have to use all natural ingredients if natural doesn't matter, but I wanna show you a way of creating a very natural formula in case that's what you're looking to do. What I'm really aiming to do here is to get a distinct difference in the two phases, just like they've done. Now make sure you record how much colour you use to get the colour you require so that you can replicate it in future batches. But of course I've QS'd it in my formula because it really depends on the colour you want to obtain as to how much you use. Then we just combine the two phases. They will naturally want to separate out. So it's a simple matter of mixing. 
and then allowing them to separate because that's exactly what happens in the finished product. These very simple herbal drop serums are great for small and large brands. At a smaller level you can use some of the readily available glycerin herbal type extracts and build your product story around that. You can also introduce other innovation into the oil phase like some oil soluble vitamins if that's what you choose to do. Larger companies can of course include some of those high end cosmeceutical ingredients and build their story around their efficacy. The end result is really to create a two phase product that can be marketed as emulsifier free or high on herbal extract content because that is exactly what your consumer is wanting to see and can see in the finished product. Now first we start with our water phase so I've already got that started here and to this I'm just going to add my carbamer. I'm also going to add just a tiny touch of FDNC red so that I can get the pink colour. Next I'm going to neutralise my carbamer so that I can create a gel network. This gel network is going to help stabilise these capsules when I add them. Now you do need to keep mixing until you have formed quite a viscous gel. One of the reasons it does need to be quite viscous is because it will need to suspend our little oil capsules. And I'm going to add those now. Now in a large batch you would use side sweepers to mix this through because you would have a viscous gel and you also don't want to break those oil capsules otherwise you'll end up forming an emulsion. You don't want the emulsion, you want to keep it as discrete little droplets. And there you have them. Now one of the great things about being dispersed this way is with the right packaging it pumps out already combined, the oil droplets break easily and you're massaging in a very light skin feel emulsion. Again some of the great innovations that you can incorporate into a product like this is plenty of water soluble extracts. Uh, the actual wet capsules come already preformed and with fragrance present so you don't even need to worry about the oil phase at all. But of course you can add water soluble materials into that water phase. Well there you have it, two innovative ways to create water drop serums with materials your consumer can see to really be convinced about that product and what it contains. It's a way of providing transparency and adding to your product story for an innovative and eye-catching product form. Happy formulating!